very <laughs> blustery, windy day. Sorry about that. We are starting our day here at Kilmenham Jail. My friend who's from here says this is his favorite place to go and where he sends everyone when they come to Dublin to learn some Irish history. So we're going to get to that and then later today we're going to both the Guinness and the Jameson experience. It's going to be a big tour day. Um, <laughs> if you can't tell, we're trying to get out of the weather. It's, there's going to be a spot of rain coming in here. So <laughs> we're going to enjoy the tours and we'll give a comparison between the Jameson and the Guinness. Yeah, All right. I'm excited. We just finished at the jail. Uh, amazing piece of Irish history. Amazing that we could go and learn, you know, about this country a, of, a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, a lot of important people saw their end there, but difficult to read and learn, but I think it's important anywhere you go, so. Shout out to Glenn, thank you very much for that recommendation. It's cold, it's windy. Thank goodness we've booked the Guinness tour. <laughs> Okay, so according to Google, um, when Ireland was colonized by the English, Queen Victoria was named the Famine Queen during the, the big famine. Um, and the Irish were told to paint their doors black in mourning. So in rebellion, they painted them bright colors. And apparently the different colors have different meanings to the families. Um, so yeah, that's why you see like very different colors even today. Really cool. Kind of feel like, out. kind of feel like we're going to the right place. Follow the horse. Oh my, that's where we're going. Taste or explore. Okay, so we just finished the Guinness experience or tour. It was a full, like, 40 sensory experience. Every step you went through, there was different smells, different things that you could touch. And it's really nice because it's self-guided, so you can do as little or as long and take as much time as you want. And then head up to Gravity Bar, have a pint. We made a reservation at 1837, which looks like you need a reservation because it is pretty much packed in here. Also, I don't know how it's possible that we got literally the best spot in this entire place. Like, look, so it goes back there. It goes back there. But we are sitting by ourselves here. St. Patrick's is right there. What an absolute pleasure this is. Oh my goodness. Billy got the flatbread. Yeah. I got the beef and Guinness stew. There we go. Look at that. And look at this view. St. Patrick's. Stunning. Guinness over there. Stunning. Stunning. Delicious. just finished the Guinness experience and now we are immediately on the way to the Jameson experience. <laughs> it's a good thing we stopped for lunch because ooh, two pints later. <laughs> yeah we're gonna need to walk this one off luckily it's about a kilometer and a half between the two so we're gonna walk it. Tell you which one's better. <laughs> yeah we'll tell you which one's better. Starting our tour and the Jameson experience. You get the drink while you do your tour. Starts with a welcome drink that you can taste while you tour. 
Lily, I believe, is going to get the Jameson lemonade. I'm going to get just the neat. Born, John Jameson II, he would eventually take over as master distiller. We're going to move it over to our second copper pot still and do the exact same thing again. One, two, three. Slender! All right. Back to back tours. First, how are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling very happy. I think I've done the bulk of the work. I mean, I got a taster here. <laughs> I think I definitely drank more whiskey than I did Guinness. But Guinness, for me, is harder to drink mm. on the tummy. I feel like, to me, I could just drink it smooth like milk. We're sitting in the Jameson booth now, outside of Jameson. But Jameson experience versus Guinness experience. And I think we've come to an accord. <laughs> if you will. Okay. And cool. I will say the Guinness experience is more visually and sensory impressive. It, it feels like a Disney ride. It does. Yeah. There's smells, there's tastes, yeah. there's big massive expanses. Yeah. The Jameson experience. A little bit more intimate. Intimate and personable. Specifically yeah. personable. Finn, our tour guide, was incredible. He was funny. He explained things well. Although that said, we did opt for the Guinness non-guided tour because mm -hmm. it was it was comparable to what the guided tour is at Jameson. True. So price-wise, they're very similar. If you want the guided Guinness tour, you have to pay more, and it honestly might be very good. Yes. But price-wise. I would say this one is a little bit more fun. I would yeah. say if you had to do one, I would go personally, I would go to the Guinness Experience just because of the impressive state of what yeah, it gravity is. Yeah, Gravity Bar is really cool. Yes. You have a cool view of the city. What about you? I would go to the Jameson. Well, Ooh. I would, if you if you have the time, I go would say both. do both. Maybe spread them, don't do them back to back. <laughs> uh, I feel great. I would say they're both really interesting. My dad has always drank Jameson. Mm -hmm. They have socks and a black label, black barrel, Jameson to try because I don't think he's ever splurged. He only mm -hmm. ever gets the normal Jameson. I have more of a connection to Jameson personally. Josh has always loved Guinness so that's kind of his. I'd say this is a bias thing. review on both ends. <laughs> you should do both. They're both amazing. If you had to choose one, you're not going to choose wrong. Is what we're yeah. saying. They're both incredible. Consensus. If you like beer, maybe do Guinness. If you like Irish whiskey, do Jameson. If you just like a good time, do both. Yeah. Also, um, someone on TikTok told us that we had to go to the Cobblestones pub. I take a quick break. Lie down maybe for a bit. Get some snacks. Get some snacks. And then go to Cobblestones? Co cobblestones, yes. Cobblestones. <laughs> when the umbrella doesn't work. This is awesome. The full Irish experience. We used the umbrella for some time, but then you know that actual comical comic book thing that happens to umbrellas in wind? Yeah, it happened to me. <laughs> How you doing? I'm surviving. <laughs> and no more the flesh I Absolutely pouring. Worth it. Yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow.